In this video you can see how to create a component like a sensor for instance. I have this component here which uh, is uh, the, of the type that I want to make and in this one I have a uh, symbol in several different states and um, I want to, to use that to create a component and I also want, because I, I'll just go in here and, and make components that do something like this because what I can can do with the same uh, kind of symbol is that I can control the connection names and what the graphical looks of this uh, component is and that's what I'm going to use a com component guide for in this video. When I make a component in, with a component guide or component wizard I'll go up and select it here and uh, when I make a new one I can go in and give it an article number. It must have an article number, otherwise I cannot continue. And I can select a, uh, a type uh, and uh, I select a table code which is the component kind or the grouping of the component where this one belongs to. I don't really remember uh, or know where this one uh, belongs so I'll just put it into the filament labs group. I do that with all components which I don't know what where to put. So um, um, when I make a component I can look up the symbols or I can choose uh, I can look it up manually or I can uh, choose a, a symbol by using the database. This time I want to uh, look it up manually. So deselect this one and then I will go in and select my symbols. I've made this uh, symbol here uh, which has got different layers. I can also use this one because uh, maybe that's better actually because this multi is the one that uh, is in the example in the in the pick menu. <coughs> so I'll use this one here and uh, this symbol here it's a very basic symbol. It's a square with six connection points, but it has also got uh, states and they're here. If I select it in DC state, it looks like this. If I select it in AC style uh, or state, it looks like this. Or variable, it looks like this. This kind of symbol would be relatively easy to make uh, to fit uh, different sensor types. Uh, simply add one sensor type in one layer and in that way you could uh, select uh, or in one state and that way you could select it uh, here. So that's uh, uh, number one and you can see that in a, a video about symbols uh, in states how to make this. Then when you want to make the component you must go down and say what are the terminal names of these components if the terminals are 1, 2, 3, 4 you might go in and say I want to have this one I want to have that one but this one I don't want to have it and you can see this top middle one just disappeared and the bottom middle one can also disappear by simply click enable or disable here. Then I can go in and say this one should be 3. You can see now it's 3. And I can go in and say this one is 4 and now it's 4. So what I can do in here is that I can use this uh, multi symbol to make many different components. And uh, what I do is I use a verb, uh, the, the states and I use the, the connection names to make it look electrically uh, what I want it to be. And when I, I want to know more about it, I simply click next and next and next and add the data that I need uh, for this component. So um, I hope this inspired you to create many different sensors in the database.